Uh, let's move on now. President Biden offering a potential concession to his trillion dollar and then some spending proposal. Blake Berman is live at the White House following all the latest details on this story. Blake. Hi there, Ashley. This is actually a pretty big shift from President Biden and the White House and the infrastructure negotiations. As you know, the position for the, from the White House uh, for quite some time when it came to an infrastructure package was paying for it by raising the corporate tax rate from 21 to 28 percent. However, the president, who is now negotiating with Shelley Moore Capito, the top uh, Republican senator in these uh, infrastructure negotiations, has a new offer, we are told, that is based around the following parameters. Instituting a 15 percent minimum book tax for corporations while stepping up IRS enforcement, along with using $75 billion in prior unspent COVID funds to pay for an infrastructure package. This is important because Republicans had drawn a red line of not touching the 2017 tax code to pay for a possible package. Here was the press secretary, Jen Psaki, earlier today when asked about it. This is a component of what he's proposed for a pay for that he's lifting up as a question as, as to whether they could agree to that, because it certainly doesn't violate anything about the 2017 taxes. Uh, so that's what he's putting forward as as an idea that he's asking them uh, where their point of view is. The initial proposal from uh, President Biden in the White House was north of $2 trillion. He has since come down to $1.7 trillion. Uh, Ashley, the White House is not yet saying at this point what that exact number might be, at least at this point in time. They are going to be talking again tomorrow, by the way, though they do characterize it as new spending above baseline levels. Ashley. Mm. Uh, and, you know, Blake, so do, does the president try to pursue a corporate tax increase uh, somewhere else? That, yeah, that's potentially where this is headed, Ashley. The uh, press secretary was asked about it, and she made it clear that the president believes that corporate tax rates should be raised. And she also noted that there are other proposals that the president has. Keep in mind, the American Jobs Plan, the infrastructure package, has already kind of gotten uh, whittled down a little bit. There are other items that the president will want to mm. pursue down the line. There's also the American Families Plan that the president has proposed as well. So the White House saying, look, the president wants to raise corporate taxes. He believes that they should be raised. But at this point, with these negotiations, with this potential infrastructure deal, it is something they are not including at this moment in time during these negotiations. Ashley. All right. Very interesting. Blake Berman at the White House. Blake, thank you very much.